The zone is blowing up the fight game. Stream over 100 fight nights a year. What was that, DAZN? Tracy Morgan, tell me more. Without the pain of pay-per-view. Without the pain of pay-per-view. It's the dawn of a new era. Bye-bye, pay-per-view. <laughs> Bye-bye, pay-per-view, says DAZN. We're going to see about that. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this video. Smash the like button. Hey, yo, what up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. Really? <laughs> this just in. Canelo Alvarez fighting this week with Caleb Smith is now being available or made available through pay-per-view. It says, DAZN will offer Canelo Caleb Smith through pay-per-view. Canelo Smith, DAZN partners with cable companies offering fight on pay-per-view. Now, it's $70 to get the Canelo fight, $69.99. I'm sure there's applicable surcharges and tax. Link in the description to this article. And basically, they're saying Canelo versus Caleb Smith is now being made available per cable companies for 70 bucks. Now, the thing that is highly shocking and unusual is, one, this fight, it was announced. Canelo had a whole lawsuit. I'm not going to get into all that. But with Golden Boy, he had a lawsuit. Oscar De La Hoya and DAZN, they worked it out, settled. Golden Boy lost Canelo. So they really haven't had too much time to actually promote this fight. So to me, the promotion is lacking. How are you going to offer Canelo versus Smith for $70? Now, they will. They also said that if you purchase this at $70, you'll get four months of DAZN included. But I, it's just DAZN, the business plan and the game plan is just crazy. First of all, like I've been saying, DAZN says that pay-per-view was dead. So I told you that wasn't a sustainable, in my opinion, it wasn't sustainable. So how are you now, after you were anti-PPV pay-per-view, how are you now suggesting that fans pay $70 for the Canelo fight? In addition, you could get the Canelo fight for $19.99 on the flexible monthly payment plan, right? So why would you spend $70 to watch it on cable for Canelo, Caleb Smith, which isn't the biggest fight. Caleb Smith, a lot of people thought he, he lost his last fight with John Ryder, etc. right? Even if they include four months of DAZN, right? Four months of DAZN with that, with that particular plan because DAZN is $99 for... 12 months so 70 bucks that's 30 dollars cheaper and you could just get the whole year subscription so it, none of this really makes sense to me they the zone had this whole smear campaign eddie hearn was like one of the ringleaders for it and they talk highly about pay-per-view being dead and you know there's no room for pay-per-view in this current market and the zone was the wave of the future, yada, yada, yada. And per usual, your boy Ego Stradamus strikes again. I told you that this whole pay-per-view was dead and the outrageous price points they were paying fighters was not really sustainable. In fact, here's one of my old live streams. You guys should be able to see it on the screen. And I says, the zone needs to step on the gas they have new higher prices. This is when they first uh, raised the price. You guys should see it on the screen. Right? I said DAZN needs to step on the gas. They have a new higher price points that are finalized. Pay-per-view not dead. This was in April of last year. And I've been saying this since DAZN came out. So 
Once again, Ego Stradamus strikes again. They're saying pay-per-view is dead. I've made videos about this very subject, as you guys can see on the screen. And now they're going to a pay-per-view model for Canelo. Oh, the hypocrisy. This is, at this point, it's just becoming funny that DAZN is constantly contradicting themselves. And people challenged what I was saying on my channel. And in the end, I'm right. Canelo, now they're offering his fight. Now that he comes back after suing, they're offering his fight for $70. Now they're offering Canelo's fight for $70, which is highly hilarious. They haven't really promoted it well. Um, again, I don't understand the price point. Why would you pay $69.99 plus tax for this fight and four months of DAZN and for $30 more, you can get the whole year, you know? The advertising hasn't been good, things of that sort. Let me know what you guys think. I don't really have anything else to say other than I told you so. So um, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'll talk about this later. I don't really have a desire to make this a long, drawn-out video. It is what it is. They're now going to pay-per-view after lambasting and judging Showtime and PBC. Eddie Hearn did several interviews saying, hey, PBC got... All these shows, Showtime got all these shows on pay-per-view. Now, Canelo fight, they're going pay-per-view. So, it's not a good sign. Shows me that they can't afford the... They, again, it's not sustainable. The amount of money they got to pay out, they're looking to recoup that in some form or fashion, in some way, because it's just not making sense anymore. You're seeing... like Just, just look at some of the recent cards. Devin Haney versus Gamboa. The fight, I don't think it lived to a lot of people's expectations, but the undercard was horrific. Uh, Danny Jacobs versus Gabe Rosado. If you go to Danny Jacobs' Instagram, he apologized for the performance. So he's admitting that it wasn't his best work. That was his last fight actually signed with Eddie Hearn. The undercards haven't just haven't been good, man. And the canelo Caleb Smith undercard, I don't really even know too much about it other than Frankie Sanchez being on it. Things like that. So we'll see how it all plays out. Um, hopefully they announce the numbers that this fight does. But now, just for your information, they're saying this canelo Caleb smith fight is $70. $70 if you want to watch it on cable. Shocking. Pay-per-view is dead, but here we are. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. <laughs>